Hey y'all, this is Fan Phoenix here, and welcome to my blind reaction series for Angel's Friends. This is called Duel and Temptation. I'm hoping we find out more about Raph's mysterious past as a possible terrestrial. I'm not sure how much I, you know, believe Reyna. <laughs> and also, I'm theorizing that Selfus was born a terrestrial as well, considering, you know, Raph has flame powers and Selfus has healing powers. But I have officially decided, people, that I'm just going to do the first season and the movie. I'm not I'm not going to do the second season unless if Rain is in it. So we're going to see if Rain is in it or not. And then uh, if she is, we'll do the second season. If she's not, then we're not. Because Rain is the only one I like. So let's watch the episode. Today's Ignoring the Horrible Theme Song music is God Put a Smile on Your Face by Coldplay. Okay, we're good. History, a past made up of places and time. A city. A house. Containing rooms we all share. A past that also is made up of people. A family. Oh, she looks adorable as a kid. Adversaries. The past also defines who and what we are. And so, Raph, do you want to hear the history of your real parents? And that is why no one should be without the history of their past. Very well, then. But I must warn you. But sometimes the past can haunt you and you I'm need ready. to move forward. So be it. But let's go in. But knowing that about it should help, I think. I don't know, I'm no expert. You still don't trust me at all, do you, Raph? Well, I find it difficult. I understand, but I assure you that this chair is most comfortable. And believe me, you will not be able to stand through the whole story. Are you cold? A little. <gasps> what are you waiting for? Now! <laughs> He's only my manservant. Your former earthly one. And one you loved. Mm. I see you know my history. Arkin and Temtel told us everything. And do you still believe those teachers? Anyway. We're not here to talk about my past. Now, you understand that you've been born a terrestrial. The irrefutable proof is on the nape of your neck. I still don't understand exactly what happened. It was an accident. Your father and mother were fatally injured in a tragic accident. Who were they? Two very important earthly ones. A king and a queen. The heads of an immense empire. Yes, their decisions influenced the lives of millions of people. And because of this, angels of course she's a princess. Of their might in order to influence them. Because they exerted such influence, it would become their responsibility if you became an orphan. But you said before that my parents died in an accident. What do angels and devils have to do with it? The angels and devils caused the accident in the first place. When? How? It happened during a challenge. The clash between the angels and devils was brutal. Mm. To the point that the Can we at least, you know, see a montage of this past? Your mother and your I'd be more interested in it that way. There was nothing anyone could do for them. They were innocent victims of a challenge. Unfortunately, it happens more often than you think. This eternal struggle between angels and devils has always caused unforeseen tragedies. All right, but why am I now an angel? The tall spheres made the decision to adopt you. 
It was their way of trying to compensate you for what you'd suffered. How do I begin to know that you're telling me the truth? Do you yeah. still need more proof, Reth? I must be certain of it. Would you want to see well, them? Mm? I would Perhaps. appreciate that. A simple question, Rath. Would you like to see them? But they're dead. Quite right. But their images are still among us. Are you saying that you have their photos? Not a photo, but their portrait. And they are not here in this house. They happen to be hanging in your school. But where? Where would you expect them to be found? In the portrait room. All you have to do to see them is go inside and look. I'm quite sure you'll be able to recognize them among all the others. But I'm not permitted. We've been taught that the portrait room is a sacred place that interns are forbidden to enter. Then it doesn't matter. After all, I'm sure it would not make a difference for you. I think but she's I influencing that. her I to go to her. the portrait room. I don't trust her. She has some sort of plan. If you want to see the faces of your mother and father, you must enter. Why do you care? You're obviously angry because you've been alone all day. And evidently you had a lot of important things to it's do. It's really the fault of those devils. They dragged us into one of their usual competitions. As always, the usual story. Angels against devils. What are you saying? Nothing. Never mind. Listen, Raph, I'm really sorry. We're all supporting you. Oh, thank you. <sighs> well, does that mean you finish what you were doing? I wouldn't want you to leave things hanging. I'm all good. I just really needed some fresh air. Maybe you should go right to bed. I gotta tell you, you look tired. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, Rat. <gasps> but there is no other way but to go into that room. If you want to see the face, But you need a devil there present as well. So, grab sulfus. Behind this door, there are the portraits of my mother and my father. There must be something very important behind this door. Raina has forbidden me to enter, but I feel an urge to go inside. I could force the lock. Oh, what am I doing? I cannot disobey my Raina. It's making me crazy. Perhaps Raph has something to do with the guilt I feel. That angel looked at me in a very strange way. Enough! I must get this story out of my head. The only thing I'm sure of is that I could never go in there without the help of a devil. The best thing to do is to try to go back to sleep. Otherwise, tomorrow I'll be dead on my feet. Good plan! Sleep is important! Now, I'm reminding you to watch out for your earthly one. And you, Mickey. Time to get busy. Oh, just what I need. More work. I don't understand why Arkin has also given you Helen and Julia. It's simple. Raph had charge of the twins before, but now she's been put in charge of watching Andrew. Oh, so you mean I have to work overtime? Oh. I think I know what Arkin has in mind. He postponed my final exam from last year, and now he's testing me big time. Just chill out, Mickey. Mm. Since Raph knows the twins well, she can help you with them. The question is, will she? Well, not if she's still upset with us. No, we cleared everything up last night. Hey, Raph. <gasps> well, good thing she didn't fall asleep in class. It was kind of after class. No, is anything wrong? I guess I'm just a little tired. Don't tell me that. I could have slept the whole day. But don't you usually do that? Arkin's given me Julia and Helen. Don't you think that worries me? Just relax. They're good girls. Well, what do you say? You're saying you want an appointment with us? Well, not really an appointment. I just want to go out and have a little fun with you. How does that sound? Well, he's just asking. hang out. That's right. Is that really so strange? I never thought this moment would come. I have just been dying to go out with him. Well, you, you can't. You, you can't both have them. To stay home. Be my pleasure, especially if it's only you and me. Woohoo! Perfect. Or, or does he understand that it's a two-for-one deal? You date one, you gotta have the other one around to watch him. Now we'll see what kind of good girls they are. It's amazing that an invite from Matthew could put the sisters at odds. Yeah, but it's obvious... It's because they both like him, and the problem is you can't have both. Only have one. How is it you don't understand women? I know women. Well, 
Please, Gas. Mm. The only women that you have any knowledge of have horns. Mm. You know, better to have horns than that stupid ring over your head. She's right. That headgear doesn't do anything for your looks. You're so out of fashion, you make your grandmother seem fresh. Slow down. It's useless to get hot over it. The matter is strictly between Mickey and Gas. For once, you've said something intelligent. I'm going to make sure... Actually, Selfish is pretty much the most intelligent of the group. Matthew. You forgot one small detail. Me! I will try to influence those girls until they're ready to do anything to be alone with Matthew. So what are you waiting for? Let the challenge begin. The umpteenth challenge. Go! Come on! Come on! Bowling! Right. Bowling can be fun, but... I think it's considered to be becoming an outdated sport. Sadly. Challenges because they keep tying. Perhaps now's a good time to start that diet. That's enough. Are you too scared to fight? Do I look scared? Huh? Hey, why'd you do that? Be quiet. Your challenge was completely useless. What are you saying, Raph? The twins have come down with the flu. Therefore, neither of them will be going out with Matthew. There's no reason for a challenge. You were so taken up with your challenges that you completely forgot about your earthly ones. Well, I guess you're right. We should guard them against their own bad behavior, not get caught up in fighting. Raph, wait! I was born to I mean, there's truth to that. More and more each day. I have decided to enter the portrait room to finally find my parents. I want to see their faces. I must. But you need a devil in order to do that. Be the only picture on this wall. Then all of mankind will be in my control. Oh! Oh! Okay. Somehow she's using Raph going into the portrait room to control all of mankind. This is very bad. I knew she had a plan, but woo! This is a doozy. A doozy indeed! I did! But I do have some good news. I just finished my personal uh, heart gold run through and I'm gonna do the post game just to prepare for the Nuzlocke. And I'll be finished with that and I can do the Nuzlocke very soon. And I figured out how to show both screens. However, how good that's going to be is questionable. I might mess with it some more um, before doing this. Like, I might take a short video of, I don't know, me doing the red, red fight. I'm not going to post it or anything, but I'm just going to use it to help me figure out how to do stuff. But until next time, I'll be signing off. TTFN, ta-ta for now.